shake. Wouldn't you know it, it's 45 degrees right now. The high's 50. The high's 50 in the middle of November. And wouldn't you know it, I thought of a lure I have not done before, but I've fished with before. I forgot about these things. You guys ever hear of a flub dub? The last flub dub I had, I think I only fished with a few. I only bought a few way back in the day. We're talking 10 years ago plus. It's before I was 17. Over 10 years ago, flub dubs were kind of a thing. I'm not making that up either, I'm not. This was a lure, it was called a flub dub. I had a few that looked just like that. Spinner on the bottom, lip on the front, treble on the back. Underspin crankbait is probably the most accurate way of putting this. One day. We're gonna get one more one day in before it gets too cold, and here we go. Dare. Actually, never mind. I do something better. There. That one's better. Got some basswood laying around. That should do just fine. Flub dub. One day. I was going to go deeper with that lip, but I decided not to. Completely unnecessary to go that deep. That's a suitable lip slot right there. Sometimes an air hose fitting is just the perfect stencil for a lip. I'm not so sure this is Lexan polycarbonate. If you remember the bonus fishing last video, I broke one of these, or at least I broke the Lexan that I made a lip out of. We'll see. If this lip breaks, it's confirmed. Somebody sold me some of that Chinese Lexan. That's gonna do a lot of flub dubbery. I might shorten that lip. The old flub dubs, they didn't have as big of a lip. I'm gonna shorten this lip, one sec. That's probably a lot better. These were like jerk baits. These were like fluttery little jerk baits. They did a slow sink. At least mine did. There's no way these float. Fluttery jerk baits with a spinner on the bottom. The only fish I've ever got hooked up on with one of these was at a big river right up close to the dam. I hooked into something and it took my entire spool and popped all my line off. I feel sorry for that fish. It's probably long dead, but that's what happened. I was young. I had like a cheap setup and you know, didn't have my drag set. Still have that issue today. Just and I was all excited because I was a little, I didn't know what to do. I think I like snagged a really big carp or I either snagged a really big carp or I actually hooked into like a giant pike and the current took it. Let's get back to the bait making. Got a lot of questions in the last video about my finger, what I did. It's finger cancer, I'm gonna die in a couple, I'm kidding. Uh, I spilled 350 degree Plastisol on it. It hurt very bad. It just, it burned through. Spilled a little bit on the middle finger too. And uh, I don't mean anything by showing you guys that, but it, it really didn't do much. It was a completely separate spill. It, felt, it hurt just as bad, but it didn't turn out as bad. It, burns are weird. Eleven oh seven, and last video, we found out. I'm a responsible adult. Watch this. That lead pot is gonna be hot right at the time I need it. Responsibility. Oh, did you guys notice my shirt too? It's official. Not my logo. M B with cool fish designs and stuff. Somebody just sent me this shirt. I don't sell this, it's just somebody made this and sent it to me. Sent it to my house, which is kinda, kinda like, whoa, dang, that this just arrived at my door and there's people that know where I live. Anywho, look at how thoroughly polished that edge is. God, I got this so sharp. I sharpened this for like 30 minutes the other day. It's just disgustingly sharp. 
Like the finish on the cut is just glass. Try to get it to where you can see that it's shiny. Okay, that's a waste of time. This is a one day. I need to use my time wisely. Young Knives on Instagram, by the way. He made this for me for free and just sent it to me. It's a great carving knife. That was a while ago. I was honored. Knives. That's the plural. The plural of knife is knives with a V. When I was in middle school, you know how you have the standardized tests and they give you your scores? One time I got a seven out of 100 on the spelling portion. <laughs> That's who you guys have been watching this whole time. <laughs> like you could at least get lucky and get like 15, maybe. Just getting lucky and you're just going through and guessing. I got a seven, seven out of 100. That is not easy. Honestly, I didn't care. It's more important things in life. Getting a good score on a test. Can you tell I'm a little bitter? Don't be bitter, guys. Flub dub. Spinner's gonna go off of that low section right there. Well, a swivel's gonna come off of that and a spinner will come off of that all the weight's gonna be like right, right there. And I want it to kind of fall like this in the water. So that spinner has more room. This will be up, spinner in here. When it cranks, the lip will catch water and we'll have more of this too, so. Spin, 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 spin. That's the action. With sound effects, you're welcome. Oh, oh my. Clamp your stuff and your vice. Don't be afraid. You know what, I'm gonna prolong my life and put this on. You see, I'm too stupid to wear one of these. I look like I'm gonna murder somebody when I wear this. But no, I'm just making baits. I'm just a bait maker. Ooh. Oh, I've got an itch on my nose. Whew. I don't know why itches are so urgent on your face when you're wearing one of these. Usually it can wait, but not when you're wearing this. I hope you guys can even understand me. It might just sound like a bunch of mumbling. A little too fingery, okay, let's... <laughs> what an interesting bait design. I wonder if that would work good just as a crankbait without the spinner on the bottom. We might never know, because I'm going to put a spinner on the bottom. Lead holes. So I'm just gonna drill one and see if it needs two. <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to see if it needs two by just drilling one, but that's my plan. Things like this usually work out, just trust me. That's a deep hole. Um, gosh. I think that's all I need. I figured it out. All right. Is the lead hot? Lead's hot. How convenient. Let's fill this deep hole up with lead. Oh. Not ready. I'll be there. Hitting it with a spoon does nothing. A propane torch does something. Okay. That hole is filled. It feels heavy. It does feel like it will sink. Nice and slow. It'll probably have an amazing wobble shimmer to the bottom. Okay. okay. That's all I should say for a whole video. Just do a bunch of stuff, make a whole lure, and all I'm saying is, okay. Right at the end, okay, on to the next bait. Ooh, don't glue it. I always get so close to gluing these things to my vise. <coughs> oh, super glue. Oh, super glue. I think it's time to just glue this lip in. Using that super glue with the accelerator, while the super glue is all bunched up around the lip, you can just put that lip in the slot, drop some really thin super glue in there, and spray the accelerator, and it fills it. Like it hardens and expands and fills the whole thing. Like this, this lip is very, very in there when you do that. That's what I did in the last video. When I broke one of these lips, the Lexan, it snapped in half. Like it's, it holds with enough force to just snap Lexan in half, so it's plenty strong. But that's just my opinion. You can have yours down below. Pilot holes. Where's my drill? Whoa, man, where is my drill?
I'm trying to get this hole as low on the bait as possible, but still, so it points out this way. This hole, it's not gonna have a screw eye in it. I'm gonna put a twist wire thing in it. I want it to be like subtle hardware right there for the spinner. You know what would be smart? If I had spots for things, places that I put certain things. <laughs> I'm looking for the thing that I put in here and I can screw the things in. You know what I mean? No. Okay, I made a new one. I think just doing this by hand would have been quicker. But yes, we are already adding the hardware to this bait. I'm excited to fish today. It's actually gonna be nice out. Eye sockets. Actually, no. Super glue bath before eye sockets. Makes the eye sockets turn out better. Oh, don't drop your work. Especially when there's a bunch of super glue on it. Kind of makes it all crummy. We are not going for crummy. Just drilled those eye sockets out and I sealed them just now. Not adding this hardware yet. That's gonna go on after the clear coat. So right at the end, the spinner will get added. Let's go paint. Making some good time too, 11.48. Pretty much needs to be this way now though because it gets dark at five. Starting with white. I hope this thing sinks. It feels right on the border actually now of sinking and floating. Maybe it suspends perfectly. That would be cool. I think I'm gonna do a beautiful bluegill. Why did I do that? I'm gonna get some base coats down and get back to y'all. One sec. Okay, what did I do? Um, went with a flesh tone through the middle. Yellow, actually it was a sienna, detail sienna under the flesh tone and then a bit of pink right there. And then I did a moss green over the flank and then I did a violet purple, or sorry, what is this called? Detail blue violet over the top and I faded it down over all, pretty complicated. These bluegills are, they have some pretty complicated colors and they all have to like really flow together and look nice and mushy. Mushy probably wasn't the right word. I'm gonna draw, or draw, I'm gonna spray the bars on this gill now with a stencil. I'm just gonna use this one using a very, very light black, detail smoke black for the bars. Haven't done the orange belly yet. I always do that last. Seems to work best that way. That probably barely looked like anything, but it shows up. It's gonna be like a tiger bluegill. Rare. We got scales to put over this too, so it won't look as bad as you think. Once in a while, while you're painting, it just looks awful, but then it looks okay when you're done. Happens a lot. Got it clamped up in some window screen for the scales. I usually go from gold to silver with these gills, with the blue gills. Gold on the top, silver on the bottom. I really load the gold on though, and just do a little bit of silver on the bottom. Now that I think about it, blue gills aren't that way. That's just what I do. I way overdo it with the gold on purpose. I'm coming back in with the silver way more than I usually do now, just to see the difference. And here's how that turns out. That's pretty good. I'm gonna put some orange on that belly and that's gonna look right. That really bright orange kind of sets the rest of the colors how they need to be, you know what I mean? Like it didn't look like a bluegill before, but I think that really helps when you do the orange last and you make it really bright. Maybe I'm just crazy. All right, I got my pile of stencils there. I'm gonna do some old school gill painting. Gotta make sure that's dry. I have not done this in a while. Decent. I like the roundness to it all. Gives it some personality. Breaking out the detailed white now. So for the bottom to get that thin line, you come up a little bit. And then for the top, you just move it forward a pinch. Even what angle you're spraying from, makes a big difference. Like I barely need to move this stencil forward now because I'm coming in from the right. And just the thickness of the stencil blocked enough paint to get that thin black line right there. So I'm just gonna paint the bottoms of these blue and then I'm done. 
Well, actually, I forgot to paint that eye socket black. Little bit of touch-ups and then I'm done. So now I'm adding like splotchy flake of gold is how I put it to the eyes just on one side and it's splotchy so it like runs out in one direction trying to be creative here I think the rest of the eye is going to be red nice and contrasting colors you know I'm going to spray the red that looks pretty interesting I like splotchy eyes don't you some thick super glue and an eyeball Time for a dippy poo in the clear coat. Let's hold this correctly. I'm not really caring that it's getting on the lip right now. I don't care. Deep down I do care, but right now I don't. Okay, that's not that bad. It'll all drip off and get thin around the lip anyway. I'm gonna hang this up with the drip wire off the bottom. Let it chill out for 20 minutes. There. Yeah. That's some flub dubbery right there. Let's get that glued in. And let's get our butts out to a pond and try to get a fish with it. I thought that was a pretty good choice of blade right there. Orange to green. Kind of like the bait itself. Stunning. I know guys. I know. I fish at this pond a lot. I just know there's fish in here. Every time the river floods, this place comes out of its banks and all the fish from the river can get in here. And that's why this place has fish. I like this spot. It's nice. It's in the woods a little bit. Blocks the wind. I'll be fishing here. Moment of truth. Let's see how this works. It sinks. Oh, wow. That works really good. That blade pulls. And it cranks. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Line ties needs bent over a smidget to the right. Look at that. Oh, you can't see it. Here, look at this. Do you guys see that? Wow, that's beautiful. Got about two and a half hours till sundown. Actually, I might have more. For some reason, I think the, the sun goes down at five right now. It might be a little later than that, so. I got some time. I'll be fishing. Flub dub. There's a bait ball over there. Gotta cast through the bait ball. Flub dub, man. Flub dub. Starting to think that every fish in this pond has died or, or something like that. I know that's not true, but you start thinking weird stuff like that when you don't catch fish, you know? Did they all die? Are they okay? Where's the fish? You guys, you guys see Mr. Bass right there? He's not moving. Maybe, maybe these fish aren't okay. Maybe they are dying. I'm gonna keep fishing. Man. I might have to go somewhere else. This is pretty bad. It's starting to get some cold November rain right now too. Lovely. Oh no. Oh no. Did we get it? Oh no. This is not good. 
I am trying all directions. Oh gosh, that is really stuck. Oh man. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. <laughs> Why? Yeah. I think it was rubbing on some metal down there. Dang. Well, if anybody wants a flub dub when the water goes down, and you know where this is, there you go. There you go. show you guys something it's 89 orders of soft plastic marling baits in that box shipping that stuff out today still got stuff for sale too just about sold out but we'll make more we got ideas we got other stuff coming other amazing stuff is on the way molds of octopus and poison dart frogs and stuff excuse me this video yeah, I've decided this video does not deserve an outro. I just hate letting you all down in such a pathetic way. Spend all that time, make a lure, and it's gone. On to the next bait.